everyone welcome back to another video i am super excited for today's video because i am officially starting a spring cleaning series you guys know i love a good cleaning video and you guys have mentioned so many times you love watching my clean with me's so i am starting an official series i don't know if i'm going to be posting back to back or if i'm going to post a spring cleaning and then a regular vlog or a sit down and then another spring cleaning but we are gonna go room by room in this entire house and we're just gonna knock it all out. So I think for today's video, I'm going to tackle my bathroom and my closet. I feel like those two are kind of a lot. So luckily enough, I've been actually checking my closet quite often and kind of getting rid of things that I don't like or use. And I kind of just send it over to my mom or sisters if they want it. But today I really just want a fresh start. I'm gonna go through everything. And this time I'm gonna be very strict with myself. I don't wanna keep anything for later. I don't wanna say maybe one day, maybe when it fits, none of that. If I don't like it, I don't like it. And if I'm not fully convinced about it, then we're just gonna toss it. So I am planning on selling things, giving things to my family and sending things and donating them to the thrift store. So that is my goal. I'm really hoping we can do a lot because there's just a lot in this house, like a lot of you know drawers and closets and cabinets and things like that where I'm kind of just you know putting it for later but spring is coming now is a perfect opportunity to get all that cleaning out of the way so i'm really excited about it i'm super motivated today is the first day in a really long time i don't have any plans i don't have anything to do i don't have anywhere to go and i'm taking full advantage of just cleaning so i hope you guys take this as some motivation for you i'm really excited about it and you can either just kind of put this video on play while you guys get your cleaning done or take this as motivation and inspiration to what you guys want to get done in your homes. So let's get started. This is the current state of my closet. It's not messy or anything. There's just kind of a lot of stuff that I have. I ended up cleaning out my closet like recently. So I ended up having this whole section cleared out. So I decided to just put my workout clothes up here. I have a little bit of clothes on the floor that I actually need to put away. Um, I have my suitcase, things like that. These are a lot of the bags that I kind of have just sitting in here with random things in it. This is one that I have not been wanting to tackle, but today is the day we are officially going to do something about this corner. And then I have a bunch of jackets and sweaters, not to mention you guys, let me show you. Nikki's old room, I decided to use as my coat closet. So I think for now that I'm going, actually, we're going to leave this for its own, its own thing because that's Nikki's blanket. There's another one of Nikki's blankets in here. Um, we're just gonna save this for another day. This is gonna be its own project. Not worried about it right now. But I do have a lot more, like, coats and things in here. So, one day we're gonna get to this. I'm not a total fan of the lighting that I have in here, but we're going to make it work. There are some things that I am going to try on to see how I'm liking how they fit and stuff like that, but there's some things I'm just going to toss. I mean, honestly, the closet might be its own video, and then the bathroom might be its own video, but I literally have so many things that I'm just so tired of holding, so this might be its own category. We're going to figure it out. I'm going to try some stuff on, and I don't know. We'll go from there. So I won't talk about every single piece of clothing that I have, but I will be categorizing things into piles and see what we can get rid of, what is like starting to fit because I have been detoxing and I haven't lost like 20 pounds, but I do have some things that are starting to fit me a little bit better. So I'm trying to think of what's realistic instead of having this like dream plan to one day fit into a size that's like eight sizes smaller than what I currently wear. I'm not going to do that. So realistic time frame, realistic use, wear, things like that. And yeah, we're gonna get started. Okay, so I have three denim jackets. Kind of unnecessary to have three. So what I decided to do, I do like more of an oversized, comfortable kind of fit, like more of that baggy style. So I'm keeping this one that my boyfriend got for me for Christmas. I wanna say it was like one or two years ago and it's a Levi's one. I really like it. It's like really long and I like wearing it with like leggings and stuff or 
I really like that for like a denim on denim kind of outfit. And I recently got this one and not gonna lie, it's probably become my new favorite jacket just because it's so comfortable and it's a really soft denim. I got this at TJ Maxx and it's a Kenzie brand. This one though, this is Old Navy and this is more of a fitted type of jacket which cool it's nice it's a good jacket this goes to my family pile i do like these blazers i'm gonna keep these i got this one at the thrift store and i actually really like it i do get a lot of use out of this i will say i gravitate to this pretty often and then this is a very oversized blazer the last time i wore it i did like it Sometimes it feels like it's a little bit too long, so I'm going to try wearing it again because I do really like it, and I have actually worn it quite a few times, but this next time around, I'm going to kind of see. So I'm going to keep it a little bit longer, and then we're, gonna, we're just going to go from there. I did thrift this London Fog raincoat recently, and I actually do like it. It's super soft and comfortable. It's not warm at all, but if you layer up underneath, I actually do like it. So I'm going to keep that. My boyfriend gave me this Carhartt vest and I've been loving wearing it with a crew neck or a hoodie. I wear this all the time so there's no way I'm getting rid of this. These two are the same but different. So this is a different type of material. I totally style this completely different. This is more of a comfortable oversized fit and I like them both. I wear them both. I get a lot of use out of them. So it's pretty realistic to keep in my closet. The next section is like all my knit stuff, which I've actually been wearing really often. So this is just going to be a really quick keep or toss. Keep, 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 toss, keep, 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 toss, toss, keep, 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 toss, keep. Keep, try on, keep, keep. I feel like we're actually getting through this a lot faster than I expected. I did end up, some of the stuff that I decided to toss, I am going to end up trying it on after all just because I'm kind of iffy about a little bit of it, but we'll kind of see from there. Next, I do have some dresses that uh, I'm not too sure about. This one honestly has been a go-to for me. I'm going to keep it. It's a Zara dress that I got at TJ Maxx. This, I think it's time to toss it this i might end up giving to my mom it's kind of similar this is just a little bit it looks long once it's on and it's fitted it's pretty short so i'm gonna say my mom wants this and she's significantly shorter than me oh my gosh you guys i'm so mad at myself i've never even worn it i wore this once i did like it i don't know how i feel about it i might end up trying it on though i have yet to wear this but it's a beautiful dress that i got at abercrombie and fitch I do want to do something about this because that is very low cut. I'm going to see if I can add some kind of fabric and get it like alter, like take it to the seamstress or something. And then she can add something that will kind of cover up that area. I'm not getting rid of this. I think I got my use out of this, but I do get a lot of compliments every time I wear it. So I'll probably keep it throughout the spring. I might toss it afterwards. I really like this dress with some cowgirl boots. It's the Lucky brand and I think I got it at TJ Maxx. This I got it at the thrift store. I need to try it on, see how I feel about it. This has always been one of my favorite dresses. It's just like a little baby doll dress that I got at Target like four years ago. And I still really love it. So I'm gonna keep it. Love this one. I wore it all throughout summer, not getting rid of it. Same with this one. I'm keeping it. I'm gonna try this on, but it might be a keep. We'll see. I'm gonna try it on. This one is just really comfortable. Again, I like this one with my cowgirl boots, so I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna try this one on just because I don't know how I feel about fitted dresses, but it's worth a shot. I just have a bunch of slips here, so I usually put all of those on one hanger. We'll just do that. Okay, so not gonna lie, one of the things that is really hard for me to part ways with are my crewnecks and hoodies. So this section tends to stay full because I just, I love a good comfortable sweater. So we'll have to do something about this today. I need to get rid of something. I need to condense this area. I can't do this anymore. I've actually been wearing this more often. I did thrift this. I got, I got it, I don't even remember when. You guys saw it in one of my thrift hauls and it's old navy. It was brand new and it's actually very comfortable. I'm gonna keep that. I do like this, it's very comfortable, I'm gonna keep it. North Face, still wear it, still wear this. Guys, I'm not gonna get rid of anything, I already know it. I have two of these REI fleece jackets, but they're just so comfortable and I like them for the snow because the snow just like dusts right off of it so it doesn't stick and it keeps me warm and I'm gonna keep this, plus it was expensive. <laughs> I like to lounge in this, it's super comfortable, I'm not getting rid of this anytime soon. I went to Kauai twice and I came back with the same sweater in a different version 
and I wear both all the time around the house, so I'm not getting rid of them. I guess I would say if I don't wear it, then it makes sense to get rid of it, but if it's something that I wear all the time, even if it starts to get like thin on the fabric or linty or whatever, if I wear it all the time, there's no sense of me getting rid of it because it's something I legitimately get a good use out of. So if I wear it, I'm not getting rid of it. If I like it, but I don't wear it, then I need to find something to do with it. I wore this recently, really liked the color on me. Not getting rid of this. I love my Nike sweater. This is a Harley Davidson kawaii crew neck and I do like it for an oversized comfortable fit. I haven't been wearing this very often. I'm going to try it on because I do get compliments on it when I wear it but I haven't used it in a long time, so I'm gonna try it on and see how I feel about it. I do get a good use of this Columbia fleece, so I'm gonna keep it. Keens Canyon sweater, I'm keeping this. I wear this one quite often. It's starting to get older, you can tell. It's starting to fade and get a little bit linty, but I wear it all the time around the house. It's just so comfortable for me, so I'm gonna keep it. This is one of those that I wear all the time, also getting old, but I literally wear it all the time, so I'm keeping it. It's just really comfortable. This is another version of that REI fleece, and and I absolutely love it. I love the colors. It's just so clean and neutral. So I'm keeping this one. I also just recently got it, so I'm not getting rid of it. Okay, this I haven't got much use out of recently. So I'm going to try it on and see how I feel about it. This I've had for a long time, but I don't use it very often. It's really comfortable, but I just don't use it. So I'm going to see if maybe my mom would like it or one of my sisters. This is just Calvin Klein crew neck and it's kind of like a crop version, but it is very comfortable. I have been using that, so I'm going to keep it. My boyfriend gave me this. It was actually his grandpa's and it has like some rips and tears and stuff like that, but it's been very worn in and it's super comfortable and it's oversized and it's just like the perfect crew neck with the perfect length. So I'm going to keep it. Also, it was his grandpa's like... I'm not gonna get rid of this. I got this from Zara recently. I wear this way too often, <laughs> so I'm keeping it. I love it. This is a Keens Canyon crew neck. Not crazy about the fit, honestly. It's just, I don't know, it's really, it's like a really loose collar and I don't like that. I'm gonna see if maybe somebody in my family would wanna try that on. This is a North Face hoodie. I like it, but I don't really wear it that often, and when I do, I'm not super crazy about it, so I think I'm gonna just toss that. This is actually still really comfortable, so I'm still gonna keep that. This is like a turtleneck, but feels like a crew neck. It's super comfortable. My boyfriend got this for me for a Christmas. I don't remember when, but I'm gonna keep it. I got this for 4th of July last year, and it's just a Together United from Old Navy. I do wear this a lot as well. It's just a cropped zip up from, I wanna say H, yeah, H&M, and I get a lot of use out of this so I'm keeping it. I really like this Stussy crew neck. My brother-in-law actually gave me this when he worked for the brand. I really like it. I'm not getting rid of it. I also have this white crew neck from New Balance and it's see-through but honestly it's super comfortable. Obviously I just wear a shirt underneath. Okay so I'm not gonna go through my tank tops or my short sleeves just because there's nothing there that I want to get rid of but I do think I'm gonna get rid of these two turtlenecks. This time around I've probably used I don't know, I probably used it like once and that was it. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. This is really like comfortable to keep. I don't know if it's my style anymore, but I don't want to get rid of it just yet. So I'm gonna keep it. I'm keeping this one from Target, keeping this one. And I actually really like this one, so I'm gonna keep it. I thrifted that one. There's something about this one, I don't know. I thrifted it years ago and I wear it every single year so often. I love it, I'm not getting rid of it. The Zara one I'm keeping and the suede one I'm keeping. I don't think I'm getting rid of any of these actually. I'm keeping this one. I get a lot of compliments on it. I thrifted this as well. Keeping this one, it goes with a short set um, and it's actually from the pajama section of Target. But I really like it for the summer and it's just really breathable linen. Keeping this one and definitely keeping this one. Okay, sorry. This The lighting just keeps getting worse and worse because I'm having to like kind of close the door but it's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna get through it, and then I'll take everything outside, and we're kind of just gonna re-go through the maybe list or the try-on stuff. I am not getting rid of any leggings or shorts. I use these all the time. The ones that I have been trying to convince myself to keep that I just have not worn at all are these. It's like the little leggings short set. I don't know how to like body suit. I don't know how to explain it. You guys know what these are. This one, very pretty color. I'm gonna try it on, but I hate, I drink so many liquids a day. I don't want to wear one of those and then have to take off the whole thing every time to go pee. So I don't know. This one, I never liked it because the bottom doesn't cuff perfectly to your ankle. 
I don't know if I'm just not tall enough because they are a little bit long on me. I might ask my aunt to see if she wants this because she's pretty tall. So yeah, getting rid of that. I'm not getting rid of any sports bras. I wear all of them. I just recently went through them and I ended up giving a lot to my mom. So we're keeping all the sports bras that was recently cleaned out. I don't think there's anything in here really that I'm trying to get rid of. We're just gonna leave that alone there and we're gonna start trying things on okay also a little bit of a tip if you guys feel like you have a lot of things but you have nothing at the same time and you either have something that you like but you don't gravitate to as often or you can't see it as often one thing that I really like to do with my closet in general like not just this section this section gets moved around the most but with like my entire closet in general what I like to do is all of the things that I don't wear often or if I just did like a huge laundry day I'll hang everything up as I normally normally do and then everything kind of goes in order so I have all my tank tops my short sleeves my sports bras my biker shorts my leggings and then over here I have all my windbreakers and things like that so what I like to do is once I've worn something I'll pick something out from each section usually so I'll pick out maybe like a tank top or a short sleeve one or the other I'll pick out a sports bra and then I'll get either biker shorts or my leggings and I'll wear the outfit I'll get a sweat in it or whatever I will never ever re-wear workout clothes it grosses me out if I sweat in it even if I didn't sweat in it it's so compressed to your body that if I wore it all day I probably won't wear it again until it's washed also I have so much workout clothes and I don't want the fabric to either you know lose its elasticity I don't want it to get linty I don't want it to stretch out too much and so what I like to do so that I get a good enough use out of everything and so that it all stays as long lasting as possible is I'll wear it once I've worn it and I've washed it, I move what I wore down to this side. So this has all been like from here to here. This is what I've worn recently and washed and I put it in the back section. So usually my closet door will kind of hide this right here and then it now puts me in a space like mentally where all I see is all I can grab so I only see these which means I'm kind of pushing myself to wear things I don't normally wear instead of wearing the same comfortable thing that I like every time so I'll go through and see what else I have on here so my next workout outfit might be something I don't normally wear it could be like this workout shirt it'll be a sports bra I don't wear as often some biker shorts I haven't worn in a while and that way all my clothes stays long lasting I get a good use out of everything that I own and there's nothing hidden in the back that I can't see and the only thing that I can't see is what I've already worn so that's what I like to do personally and I don't ever do laundry until my laundry baskets have hit like the very top of the brim because I want to be able to push myself to wear the things that I actually have instead of feeling like I have to shop for more. That's a quick tip. I like to do that. I like to rotate my closet quite often. I like to put things in the front that are normally in the back and vice versa. So that's just if you guys haven't done that, just a little quick tip. If you guys are trying to get more use out of the things that you have or to keep your things looking new or to feel like if you feel like you need to go shopping but at the same time you know you have a lot, just rearrange what you have. You might have more than you think and it kind of already feels like you went on a shopping spree. So that's what I do and I'm going to start trying things on. I have to say first, I'm obsessed with this hoodie. I got it at American Eagle and originally I got it for snowboarding and I didn't realize until I got it that the hood is actually fleece lined. So it is very warm, very comfortable. I actually wore it for my boyfriend's softball game last night because it was freezing and honestly it did its job. And I like the fact that the side is cut so it gives that true oversized baggy fit and it's long enough to cover everything so I just... It's just my new favorite hoodie. Okay, I haven't worn this in a really long time and I don't know why. I actually really like it, so I'm going to end up keeping this. I think I'm gonna toss this. It's not horrible. It just doesn't look flattering on me. I think I'm gonna keep this. I don't know why I put it in the toss pile. I think I just haven't worn it in a little bit and I think sometimes the sleeves get on my nerves because they're too long, but it's comfortable and I'm keeping it. I think I'm gonna keep this one. The collar is a little bit lower than I would like, but I think instead I'm just going to wear a white t-shirt with a higher collar and that'll kind of just peek through a little bit. I think I'm just gonna end up keeping this after all. I'm not too sure about this one. I feel like it's kind of an awkward shape on me. It's Eddie Bauer and I really do like it, 
on the hanger. I just don't like it on me. Okay, so this is the pile of clothes that I'm getting rid of. Like I mentioned before, I did recently do a huge closet clean out, which also included all of my drawers. So this is pretty good for having already previously cleaned out my closet. I have a ton of beauty products, you guys. Like way too many to keep track of. And I wanna make sure that I'm kind of putting everything where I can see it. I also have to go through everything that's in my bathroom, which I have a lot of drawers and, you know, like boxes and stuff like that with more products. So I think I'm going to categorize everything, see what's hair, what's face, things like that. And then we're going to go from there and whatever else that's extra, I don't know, we're going to have to figure out how to organize this. But I have way too much of this stuff, so let's just go through it. again when I start to clean out my bathroom there's some things here that I have to put away though and some things that I'm just gonna save for later these three baskets were at the top of my closet as well so I'm going to start organizing them and see how we can make this a little bit more efficient <music> has like different oh my gosh more packing cubes what in the why do I have so many okay we're gonna get rid of that I've never used this so I'm gonna get rid of this I do like this for like the spring and summertime with a cute dress and then just somewhere where I don't have to carry too many items with me I don't wear this as often, but I do still wear it sometimes, and I did get this as a gift several, several years ago. It's still in really good condition. I probably shouldn't have it all smashed up in here, but it's still in really good condition, so I'm going to keep it. I got this at Walmart, and this has actually been really good to me on hikes. I took it to Kings Canyon, and I've taken it to other places, and it just, it's really good, so I'm going to keep this. I do actually get a good use out of this. I don't remember the last time I wore this purse. It's time to part ways with it. Close this up for now, and then we'll come back to it later if we have to. Let me show you guys what it's looking like. It's not anything too crazy. These are still pretty empty, like these baskets. So that's actually a good sign because it means I don't have too much miscellaneous little things. I have to go through that, but I'm going to go through that once I go through my bathroom. So right now I'm just storing all of the beauty products that I have in here. And then we're going to organize them in my bathroom later. These are some extra bags. I don't necessarily want to get rid of them, but I might just put them in like a big giant bag at the end. We'll see. I am putting this in the garage. This, I could actually probably put my bags in here. We'll see. But that's an extra bag as well. These go in my suitcase. Those are also extra bags. This is the donate pile. And then this is what is a little bit different. So down here, I had one of those black boxes. And then my suitcase is just going to stay here. It just makes the most sense because it's completely out of the way. So I ended up putting these three boxes up here. I'm going to put my hats in a different basket because I just recently got a few new ones. I'm kind of like in this phase where I just like wearing hats. Those are my memory boxes, so they might just stay in that corner. There's no need to really move that around. These two woven baskets, I do have a bunch of like 
random knickknacks in there so I do have to clear those out and then I have to look through all of that and then these are some extra bags space in the rest of my closet except for this giant bag. Time to go through it. Okay, not gonna lie, I'm starting to get a little bit tired. We are almost done. I need to just kind of try to push through here and I really need to like stretch my back. Um, okay. I had a lot of random little things in here. I've got a good chunk that goes to the office. Okay, so it's literally two days later at this point. I last filmed on Saturday and I'm picking up the camera again today on Monday. It's been a little bit of a busy weekend and so I wanted to just make sure that I finished today, got everything out of the way with the closet and finally we can move on to the next thing. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what it's looking like right now, what we have left to do. At this point, I feel like it's more of like the little miscellaneous annoying things that are just kind of in the way. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we have as far as like the donate pile and then all the random little knickknacks that we have and then exactly what my closet is looking like just right now. Let's get started and hopefully I can actually get this out of the way officially today. I also figured I would give you guys a quick little outfit of the day. I know lighting is not the best, but we're just gonna ignore that. My boyfriend and I actually went to go pick up my brother-in-law from the airport this morning because he got back from Japan. He was there all week for work. And so I just got home a little while ago, but this is my outfit. I'm trying to get a little bit more into red and I figured we would start small with some accessories, just something that, you know, if I'm not totally convinced Convinced. It's not the biggest thing in the world, but I bought this best pro shop hat when I went with my boyfriend for his birthday And I actually really like it. It's super comfortable really breathable and I don't know It might be one of my new favorites right now because I want to get into hats again Then I'm wearing this white target t-shirt underneath Just as a little bit of a layering piece and then this oversized old navy striped shirt I did have one more button unbuttoned, but I was taking my supplements in the car and I literally got this giant red drop on my shirt, so we're just gonna hide that with the extra little button. Then I'm wearing my Fabletics leggings because I just wanted to be comfortable since we're just gonna be in traffic for a while. And I'm wearing these Converse that my brother-in-law actually gave me a while ago. I haven't gotten that much use out of it, so I wanted to make sure to wear them today. And yeah, that's the outfit, pretty comfortable. I'm gonna be home most of the day, so I figured just something I can move around in comfortably. <laughs> officially done at least for now i know there's more that i could probably go through but honestly i'm pretty exhausted at this point and i figured that while i start spring cleaning a little bit more go through more rooms more drawers closets things like that then i can start to relocate a little bit more things and kind of see where other things can go so i'm just going to show you guys the end result of what the closet ended up looking like and i will be posting more videos for this series next up is my bathroom which i'm very excited to do because i have so many things that i just want to get rid of clear out and just really officially organize so if you guys are interested in more videos like this i will be doing a full series i am cleaning everything out my bathroom my office all the random junk drawers and closets my garage everything just officially starting fresh so if you guys want to watch more videos like this then don't forget to like subscribe and comment and i will see you guys all in the next video bye